participating with the highest honors, the St. Thomas More Most Distinguished Award. He eventually obtained his Master's in Law degree from the Harvard Law School and was admitted to Stanford's Advanced Program in International Legal Studies. He was also a, legal, he was a research fellow at the same school and a lecturer at the New England School of Law. Recently, uh, International Alert, a human rights organization based in London, cited one of the articles he has written for the journal. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Attorney Anthony Edsel Dupas. Librarian saying, you know, hey, I was a member of this 
ALJ thing and, and kindly write to them and ask for updates and I'll try to do whatever back office work at my end to give you updates as well. So you've got a good system running. I think the model that you have has, has allowed the journal and issues and your names and articles, uh, not only having your names and articles land in the highest courts of the land, but also are more and more being turned to as a source among international circles uh, in the English-speaking uh, academia, both common law and civil law. Uh, you will find, and if you do a search, in the Australian National University and, and, and in Oxford, in their online databases, the law journals there, right? Uh, so I think you have a good uh, distribution system uh, going on here. So I, I did the ocular inspection myself, and I, I like to, you know, if you want to use me as an expert witness <laughs> or whatever, uh, uh, I can attest to that, that the AOJ is, is everywhere. Uh, I'm currently a professor of law under e Dean Andy Bautista in the joint MBA JD program. And this is my uh, second year of teaching under the DLSU FBU joint GD MBA program. I was a, as I said, I was a member of the faculty of New England Law in 2009. Uh, I was the only professor or adjunct, the title is lecturer in law, because you're a young gun, uh, whom they hired who had not graduated from, at that time, from any US law school, had not taken any US bar, uh, and yet I was hired immediately to become a member of the adjunct faculty and given a free reign uh, to teach whatever I, 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 I please. Uh, I was also a managing uh, editor and managing technical editor of the Harvard Human Rights Journal. Um, I stayed there for almost two years and it's a great circle. And yes, your, your blue book system of citation, no matter how arbitrary it may seem and how, how horrendous its, its rule making can be, especially when it comes to online courses, uh, then there is, I like to think, a unifying philosophy behind all those fragmented rules. I've actually sat in and collaborated with the very editors of the Harvard Law Review when we consulted in our attempt to revise the very blue book, uh, 19th edition, which you have right now. So I, I was engaged in those reports. And I was ahead of the game because of the ALJ, because of the sleepless nights that you encounter here studying for recitation and doing, you know, what might strike you as mundane citational work here. Uh, I think the hands-on experience that you gain as a member of the ALJ uh, will have a very good spillover effect. So as managing technical editor and as acting managing editor of the Harvard Human Rights Journal, Volume 22, they would turn to me for blue book citation advice. And I would say, oh, in their vernacular, see the langyan, the langyan. Ah, secondary source, ah, the langyan. So I gained that confidence even as early as my experience here. I've been, I write for the US popular press. Uh, I write for the Huffington Post. Um, I am a writer for The Jurist, which is the leading research uh, analog of Huffington Post for the law academia in the United States under the auspices of the University of Pittsburgh. And they always ask whether you've been a member of the Law Journal or not. And I say, I always say yes, yeah, I've been a Law Journal. Um, various, as mentioned earlier, various uh, international human rights organizations have mentioned my pieces under the Law Journal in their delivery of consultative papers before the Supreme Court and before other national governments, especially with our conflict 
Então...